Right, a brief video. This is my last day at Milton Keynes near Newport Pagnall where I come to visit to find Lockwoods. I haven't found any graves, but there were graves, but um, they were, there's no visible stones now. I found that in Newport Pagnall. Uh, William Lockwood was also on the militia rolls. It was a garrison town, Newport Pagnall. Uh, Cromwell stayed there. It's got a long history with a castle and everything, and I've got all the details. Uh, I'm at a campsite called Gulliver's, Milton Keynes. I've uh, driven all around Milton Keynes. I've been for some lovely walks as well in some of their parklands they've got all over the place. This is just one called Campbell's. They've got meadows and parks and lakes. Uh, canals, I've been on the Grand Canal, um, which can take you from where I'm staying to the um, Newport Pagnall. It's, it's brilliant for cycling. I should have had my bike here. You can cycle for miles. It's flat. Um, it's a lot harder walking with a backpack. <laughs> but you do get to see what's on the ground. And here's um, one of their um, Campbell Park cricket grounds here. Um, I'm on my way to the city centre, believe it or not. I've got to find a post office. So I've not really explored the centre. I've been doing all other stuff, visiting villages. Some of the villages I've visited, for example, are related to the Lockwoods, like Oney or Olney, Ravenstone is another one. Um, Western Underwood. I've been to all those little villages. Western Underwood is like something out of a fairy tale um, because of the thatched cottages and all the other features. The Lord of the Manor still reigns. Um, really beautiful, picturesque uh, and everything like that as well. Simpson's another little tiny village that no one's really heard of, tucked away. Um, that I've, I, I've also found by on a long walk one day. I went for a very long walk and I beautiful walk. It, I was gone for six or seven hours walking there and back through beautiful park and meadows. That's all on video. Um, so once again the Lockwoods were there but I haven't been able to find any visible graves but you can't do it all in three or four days. You can't. There's bound to be some. But it looks, I haven't really got the time now. I've got to move on after tomorrow. I'm on a very tight financial budget. Um, I would stay here longer if I had more money. Um, I'd probably stay and do a bit more digging um, around. But you can do a lot on the archives and I'm sure we'll find something. But there were graves, definitely burials. I've seen the burial record. Um, they were Wesleyans. Um, they might have even been Masons. And... Um, they're mentioned in the burial books in Newport Pagnall Library. William and Mary um, have, have been buried there. So um, I've got records of that. I've got records anyway uh, at home that I got online. But it would have been nice to have got a physical grave. Um, I will get some. There will be some in London. Um, when I go up and do the Lockwoods that move to London, I'm, that'll be on my next thing. I should do a Lockwood visit um, to Poplar, an area to find some. I will find some. I was hoping to find some old ones, but there were lots of graves around. They're just unreadable. Um, erosion and, um, you know, fungi, Kalapaka made them unreadable, to be quite honest. Um, so anyway, this is my last day. I have had a bit of my usual problem with my stomach. It's been, it hasn't been very good. I had a um, fried breakfast on the motorway down from York, and I haven't been right since, so I reckon I suffered some sort of food poisoning for the last couple of days. But I've, it hasn't really stopped me. I've had to go out still. Alberta's having a rest today. <sighs> Brandy's with me. Here she is. Hey, hello, Bryn. She follows me. She comes everywhere I go. <laughs> Funny, a couple of times I've said to her, I'm going to leave you in the van, and she, somehow she's fallen on the floor. As if, and stamped her foot. I said, no, I'm coming. And when I get a bit despondent, I thought, oh, I'm going to go home. And then she said, no, you can't go home to you've been to Suffolk and Cambridgeshire. 
which is where I'm off to tomorrow. I haven't decided which campsite to do yet. Obviously, if I go to the caravan club, it's only £10 a night. But I'd like to go to one in Burwell, but I can imagine it being very expensive. Right then, people coming now, so I'm just going to turn off for a minute. On my way to Milton Keynes City. Over and out. This is Sheila. I think it's the 3rd of June 2014. It's about going on for midday.